How to cook your favorite meal, a simple guide. Hi Nicole, you always bring such delicious meals for lunch. What's your secret? Hello Charles. Thank you, that's very kind of you. My secret isn't really a secret, it's all about using fresh ingredients and a bit of love. That sounds wonderful. I wish I could cook well. My cooking skills are pretty basic. Everyone starts somewhere, Charles. Cooking is easier than most people think. Do you have a favorite meal you'd like to learn how to make? Actually, yes. I've always loved spaghetti bolognese. But every time I try to make it, something goes wrong. Spaghetti bolognese is a great choice and not too hard to make. First, you need to saute onions and garlic until they're soft. That seems manageable. What comes after the onions and garlic? Then, you add ground beef and cook it until it's brown. Make sure to break it into small pieces as it cooks. Got it. And the sauce? For the sauce, you add canned tomatoes, some tomato paste, and let it simmer. Season it with salt, pepper, and basil. Let it cook for at least 30 minutes, the longer, the better. That sounds doable. And the pasta? Boil water in a large pot, add a pinch of salt, and then the pasta. Cook it according to the package instructions until it's al dente. Al dente? What does that mean? It means the pasta is cooked through but still has a bit of firmness to it. It shouldn't be too soft. I see. That's really helpful, Nicole. I'll definitely try making it this weekend. You're welcome, Charles. Remember, cooking is about experimentation. Even if it doesn't turn out perfect, you'll learn and improve. Thank you for the encouragement. I'll let you know how it goes. Please do. And if you have any questions or need more tips, feel free to ask. Happy cooking! Thanks, Nicole. I'm looking forward to giving it another try. See you around. See you, Charles. Enjoy your cooking adventure. English Conversation, Dreaming of a Summer House, Simple and Engaging Hey Jessica, have you heard about the new summer houses on sale by the lake? Oh, hi Cedric. Yes, I saw them online. They look amazing, don't they? Absolutely. I'm actually thinking of buying one. It's been a dream of mine to have a summer house by the lake. That sounds like a wonderful idea. What kind of house are you looking for? Well, I'd love a place with a nice view, maybe two bedrooms, and a cozy living area. Nothing too big. Sounds perfect for relaxing weekends. Are these houses expensive? They vary. Some are quite affordable. I'm planning to visit a few this weekend. Would you like to come along? I'd love to. It would be great to see them in person. Great. I also think it's a good investment. The area is becoming popular. Definitely. Plus, it's a perfect place for summer barbecues and stargazing. Exactly. I can already imagine hosting barbecues and having friends over. And don't forget the peaceful mornings, just sitting by the lake with a cup of coffee. 
That sounds like a dream. I hope I find the right place. With so many options, I'm sure you will. I can't wait to see them. Thanks, Jessica. It's great to have a friend to share this excitement with. Anytime, Cedric. It's going to be an adventure. Taste, tradition, and temples, an unforgettable Asian adventure. Where is Eric traveling in Asia? Eric is traveling to Japan in Asia. What does Agatha pack for her trip? Agatha packs a camera and clothes for her trip. Why do people visit Thailand? People visit Thailand for its beaches and culture. What is the capital of China? The capital of China is Beijing. How do tourists travel in India? Tourists travel by train and bus in India. What food does Eric try in Japan? Eric tries sushi in Japan. What is famous in South Korea? The city of Seoul is famous in South Korea. Where does Agatha stay in Vietnam? Agatha stays in a hotel in Vietnam. Why is the Great Wall of China famous? It is famous for being very long and old. What language do people speak in Malaysia? People in Malaysia speak Malay and English. What is a popular activity in the Philippines? Diving is a popular activity in the Philippines. How long is Eric's flight to Japan? Eric's flight to Japan is 12 hours long. What does Agatha buy in India? Agatha buys spices and souvenirs in India. Is Singapore a country or a city? Singapore is both a country and a city. What wildlife can you see in Borneo? You can see orangutans in Borneo. What is the currency of Indonesia? The currency of Indonesia is the rupiah. Can you see Mount Everest from Nepal? Yes, you can see Mount Everest from Nepal. What is the traditional dress in Korea called? The traditional dress is called a hanbok. Is Bali an island or a city? Bali is an island in Indonesia. What festival is famous in Japan? The Cherry Blossom Festival is famous in Japan. Understanding Traffic Rules and Pedestrian Safety Hi Jennifer. I noticed you were looking at the new traffic signs by the crosswalk. Hey George. Yes, I was. It's great to see these new signs and signals being put up for pedestrian safety. Absolutely. It's so important, especially in a busy area like this. Do you think these changes will make a difference? I hope so. Pedestrian safety is crucial. The crosswalk lights and clear signs should help a lot. Yeah, I agree. It's all about making the road safer for everyone. Have you seen the new push-button signals for crossing? Yes, I've just tried one. They're very user-friendly. You just press the button and wait for the signal to change. That's a good feature. It makes crossing the street much safer, especially for children and the elderly. True. And educating people about traffic rules is also key. I think schools should emphasize this more. Definitely. Speaking of which, did you learn about road safety in school? A bit, but it was pretty basic. How about you? Same here. Most of what I learned about road safety came from my parents and driving lessons. 
It's interesting how we often learn these important life skills outside of the classroom. It is. And with technology evolving, traffic systems are becoming more advanced too. That's right. Have you seen those new smart traffic lights that adjust timing based on traffic flow? Yes, they're amazing. They help reduce congestion and improve traffic efficiency. Indeed. It's fascinating how technology can enhance our safety on the roads. Absolutely. I hope these advancements continue. Well, it was great talking to you about this, Jennifer. Likewise, George. Stay safe and take care. You too, see you around. Hello Mary. How are you today? Hi John. I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm fine, thanks. Do you remember we talked about moving to a new house last week? Yes, I do. You told me you need help with carrying your things. That's right. I was thinking about finding a company that can help me with the transportation of my stuff. Sounds like a good idea. Have you found any companies yet? I found a few, but I'm not sure which one to choose. I need a company that can move my heavy and big things. I see. Well, you should look for a company that has experience in moving heavy items and has good reviews. You're right. I should also ask for the price, because I don't want to spend too much money on this. Definitely. Remember to ask if they have any extra fees or if the price they give you includes everything. Good point. I also need to pack my things before the moving day. Yes, don't forget to buy boxes and tape to pack your things safely. I'm thinking about asking my friends for help. Do you want to help me too? Of course, I'd be happy to help. Just let me know when you need me. Thank you so much, Mary. I'll make sure to call you when I have more information about the moving day. No problem, John. I'm here to help you. Good luck with finding the right company. Thanks, Mary. I hope I can find a good one soon. I'm sure you will. Just take your time and do some research. Don't forget to read the reviews. Yes, you're right. Reviews are very important. All right, John. Let's talk again soon. Have a great day. You too, Mary. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye, John. Talk to you soon.